Should you run your ambient guitar rig in mono or in stereo? Let's talk about that. Yeah, that's a big decision point, isn't it? Mono or stereo? And if I've had people ask that question a lot here on the channel over the years. So on this video, I'll be playing through a single signal path and I'll be switching a delay pedal from mono to stereo mode to show you the difference and let's talk about what each is good for. So here's my dry signal. Okay, just a fairly simple kind of sound. And what I am running through is a Wampler Ego compressor into a Strymon Riverside Overdrive into a Morley volume pedal into the Strymon Dig, and that's the delay pedal we're going to use to switch back and forth. And I am using the Strymon Iridium amp modeler instead of a regular amplifier. Uh, that's because I can very easily switch between mono and stereo with that device. So again, here's that just dry monotone. Let's go ahead and add the dig in, and it is set to mono right now. Here we go. Not a bad tone. Let's try some uh, distortion. Little lead. Pretty nice. Let's try a little bit on the volume swell side of things to see what we get with the mono delay. That's a nice sound, isn't it? And to be quite honest with you, I used a sound like this a lot for decades, literally, in my band playing days, and always liked the sound. But what happens if we put the dig into stereo mode and get stereo delays? Let's check that out. I hope you're wearing headphones or else you're not going to be able to hear the difference or good stereo speakers for that matter. Little volume swell action. Yeah, let's try some distortion here. bit of lead action.
Interesting. Everything sounds bigger, wider, and some people would say better, right? Bigger's better, right? Wider's better. It fills the entire field between your left ear and your right ear, or your left and right speaker. But is stereo always the right choice? Well, for me, I'm mostly a solo guitar player here on the Chords of Orion channel and on my Chords of Orion music, so I almost always use some kind of stereo tone for my sound because I am trying to fill up all the space between the right and left speakers, and oh man, it's just so beautiful sounding. But what if I played in a band? Let's say I was in a band with another guitarist, a keyboard player, maybe a sax player, two vocalists, and a drummer. And we're, all, we're playing these great, you know, arrangements of whatever, and we're all playing at the same time. Do I really want a sound that takes up everything between the right and the left? <laughs> Right? There's a lot of stuff that needs to fit in there besides my guitar. Now, you know, if I'm egotistical about playing guitar, maybe I'd want to do that. But really, if I'm going to be a team player in a band and really have my instrument sit in the mix, whether it's live or recorded, I don't always, probably don't always want a big wide stereo signal. The mono signal can fit much better in that mix. Now, if you were wearing headphones or listening on good speakers, you just heard that signal pan from left to right. And that's one of the great things, right? So I can keep that piece all together in the mix. In addition to the band dynamic, another reason why you might want to stay mono is that depending on your rig, it could cost you a lot of money. Let's think about that. Let's say I'm playing with a traditional amplifier and it's a Fender Deluxe Reverb. I love Deluxe Reverbs. Well, for me to go stereo and have it sound balanced, I'm going to need to buy another Deluxe Reverb. And since I've been playing mono all these years, which by the way, I did, right? Um, maybe I don't have any stereo effect pedals. So I don't have any way of splitting my signal, which means I'm now going to have to buy some stereo pedals, like perhaps a delay, a reverb, a chorus, those types of things to widen out the stereo signal. Again, that can run into a, a fair amount of money and it, it might not be worth it depending on the style of music you're playing and what you're looking to accomplish. But all that being said, it is nice, I do have to say, and I'm biased, to have that option to go wide. So what do you think? Stereo or mono? Do you have thoughts or experiences? Drop a comment below. Also, I've got a playlist here for you to check out. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'll see all of you on the next video.